Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to the Canton Ice House for Hopkinton Hillers Playoff Hockey. And today, the first seeded 21 and 0 Hopkinton Hillers take on ninth seeded Bishop Stang, who is 11 5 and 5 on the season. It is the South Division Three quarterfinals round. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardi on the call. John Ritz on camera. Eric, this should be a fun one today. These two teams met up last year, and the Hillers took down Bishop Stang four to nothing. But it was certainly a physical game that was close throughout. Yeah, anytime you get to the playoffs, uh, taking the body seems to take it up just a notch for both teams here. So I'm sure everyone's trying to slow down that first line of the Hillers here. And for Hopkins, all it's more of the same. Uh, maybe minus the penalties. Uh, you know, the bar's been set, so they know it's going to be called tight. So just stay out of the box and play the way you played all year long. Should be no problems. Most certainly, and last game the Hillers took down their opponent 5-3. to three. It was 17th seeded Silver Lake. An impressive win by the Hopkinton Hillers in what was a very tough physical game with a lot of penalties, as you mentioned, and hopefully the Hillers will be able to stay out of the box today. We shall see, but... In any case, we are just about ready for hockey, so right now we'll send it down to rinkside for the opening announcements and the national anthem. Junior Ryan Martin. And 
And Scotty and Gold for the Sparkles, number 35, sophomore and half four. And please welcome the remaining members of the official standing Sparkles. And now it's Scotty and Gold for the Sparkles. And left wing, number 12, senior Brian Rogers. announcements and the national anthem and we are ready for a Hopkinton Hillers hockey on HCAM. A quarterfinals playoff matchup in the South Division Three bracket between Hopkinton and Bishop Stang. Tom Naffy alongside Eric Cardi on the call. John Ritz on camera. And the winner of this game will advance to the semifinals over at Gallo Arena in Bourne. And they will play the winner of Dartmouth and Martha's Vineyard. That game happening later tonight. And hopefully the Hillers will have coaches there scouting because they'll be advancing on, but certainly a tall task here at hand today. As we take a look at the starters for the Hopkinton Hillers, Gray Bailey in net, Sean Walsh, your center, Kyle Rogers, your left winger, Tommy Hamlet, your right winger, on defense, Drew Saporoschitz and Andrew Gilbert. Sean Walsh in the center circle up against Brandon Cardarelli. And we are underway here in the quarterfinals of the South Division Three sectionals. Along the far side, Saporoschitz sends it over to Gilbert. Gilbert up the near side over just past Rogers. Knocked back into Hiller's territory by Justin Govia. And now into Bishop Stang territory we go. Rogers trying to get there, jammed up in the corner. Hamlet unleashes it. Now up behind the net it goes. Along the near side. And Barnes trying to get in there and get the stick on it, along with Rogers. Rogers jammed up in that corner just a bit. It's Bishop Stang trying to slowly work it up the ice, and a nice knock away there by Manser. Yeah, Manser did a good job keeping that puck in in heavy traffic. Getting the stick on it is Sheamus. He'll put it back into Bishop Stang territory. Jammed up now along the backboards. Hamblet got tied up. Out in front, he was looking for Rogers. Perhaps we see a, another walsh Rogers combination. There's been many of those this season. Along the near side, 
Martin puts it back towards the neutral zone. Mara gets a stick on it, and we have a whistle. Oh, hand pass by Mancer there in the center race. We will have a face-off in the Hiller zone. 13.45 left to go in the first period. And on the face-off, Matt Walsh for Bishop Stang and Dan Kirk for the Hillers. Trying to unleash a shot there was Saunders, and it's collected by Barnes. Quinlan with a good job off the face-off, stepping in to break that play up. And now Quinlan racing to the puck, and it's diverted away. Up behind the net it goes. Quinlan along the corner. Just past the reach of Jarrett along the near side. Here comes Saunders. Leaves it out, backhander and loose puck and it's turned away by Kirk. A good back check by Kirk there. He was able to pick up that loose puck before anything dangerous happened. Mara was trying to break away. Barnes sends it over. Over towards Jarrett. Jarrett pops it off the boards and takes a knock from Jedry and we have a whistle. That'll be icing. Didn't quite get it to the red line before he fired that one all the way down. So we will have a face-off back in the Hiller's defensive zone. Aiden Walsh, Joe Carraza in on the action, as well as Drew Saparoshitz and Jake Weinstock into the game for the Hillers. Oven sends it back. There's a shot and a goal! Colin Walsh makes it one nothing. Bishop Stang. Yeah, it looked like it went off a leg in front. Fooled Bailey, he kind of bounced to the left. He had no shot at that after the deflection off of shin pad. An absolute rocket of a shot. Puts Bishop staying on top. Well, Bishop staying with some good attacks early on in this game. And they get the first goal of the game. Walsh in on the faceoff. Walsh up against T.J. Marcotte. Along the near side, collected by Gilbert. He'll swing it around over towards Rogers, who's jammed up along the boards. Trying to get the puck out. And now sent over to the far side corner. Picked up by Gilbert. He'll send it up. Over to Rogers. here comes Walsh. Walsh racing up the ice. Takes it around the net and he's knocked down. Bishop Stang certainly playing physical so far and they have a potential break here. Off the stick of Beck. He'll take a knock from Gilbert. Gilbert sends it around towards Rogers. Picked up at the blue line by Walsh. That's Colin Walsh for Bishop Stang. Here goes Walsh. Sean Walsh on a break. Backhander, no. Just a little bit wide. Defenseman just got a piece of that to knock it to the left of the net. Up the near side goes back, and that'll draw the whistle. A good play by Kyle Rogers to start that play. Chipped it out and sent two on one with Walsh. He just, I don't know if he's going for the shot or trying to get it over, but the defenseman just made a nice stick play to keep that puck from going to the net or getting out front. So we'll have a face off with the icing call at 11.54. Left to go in the first period, Dan Kirk on the faceoff. Picked up by Colin Walsh. And he'll bring it around to the far side. Sheamus gets the stick in there. Mara puts it back. Up behind the net. Bishop Stang trying to clear their zone, stolen away by Mara. Have it, Mara with just such incredible speed. Quinlan trying to get in there and contest Marshall. Here comes Marshall. Up the far side, pops it off the boards, race again, Govia, shot, save. Good, good save by Bailey. Yeah, nice play by Marshall, using the boards to make that nice pass. Able to sneak around the Hopkins D there and get a good shot on. The Spartans of Bishop Stang will switch up their line. Here's a quick shot and the two sticks collided between Ben Saunders and Weinstock into the protective netting it goes. Yeah, Weinstock, good job getting out there. Hill is doing a good job on the faceoffs getting out to those, block those shots. We'll have a faceoff at 11.19 left to go. Rogers sends it back and now Manser sends it around. Aiden Walsh working up the near side. He gets tied up with Jedry. 
And taking a big hit was Aguilar from Weinstock in the near side corner. Hiller's trying to work it back into Spartans territory. Aiden Walsh gets tangled up with Saunders. Saunders just able to get rid of it towards Jedry. Hamblett gets in there. Taken by Allen, sends it up the far side boards. Now here comes Matt Walsh, the captain. And he'll be turned away by Carraza. Sent around by Manser. There's a quick shot and a save by Gray Bailey. That was off the stick of Vittorio Consoletti. And so far, Bishop Stangs had the better of the offensive chances here, getting several shots on Bailey. But for the Hillers here, you're down one nothing. No need to panic. You know you've got the firepower. No need to try to do anything above and beyond. Just play the way you've been playing. Well, according to the stats that I have for Bishop Stang, the Colin Walsh goal was the first goal of the season for the senior for Bishop Stang. Set the round to the near side. Not quite sure if these stats are updated, but we'll go with it. Walsh working up the near side. Stolen away by Martin. Jammed up along the backboards. Walsh trying to get in there. And here comes the Spartans once again trying to attack. Jarrett along the near side picks it up. And he'll send it around over towards Hamlet. Back to the neutral zone. Picked up by Barnes. Goes flying off the stick of Marcotte back into the Spartans' defensive zone. Walsh along the near side corner. Able to untangle it, sends it out to Hamlet. Hamlet was looking for Rogers in front. Here goes Rogers, turns it around, and a misfire towards Walsh. And Walsh on the rebound off the board, sends it into the corner. And I believe it went off the protective netting in the process. So yeah, hit a leg in front and bounced out. We will have a faceoff at 9.39 left to go in the first period. Well, it appears to me the Spartans certainly have the speed to keep up with the Hillers. We'll see if. The Hillers are able to tire them out as they've done to so many opponents this year. Jammed up along the near side corner. Trying to take it away is Colin Walsh. Mara in on the mix as well as Kirk. And it's taken by Walsh, Colin Walsh. Here comes LaFrance and he's tripped up by Saporosius. A good hit there by Saporosius. Delivering the big hit. And now over to Quinlan. Kirk. Turns it around out in front, was looking for Mera. Bishop Stang doing a pretty good job at protecting the front of their net so far as Saporoshitz pops it off the boards. Marshall trying to pick it up. Quinlan gets in there, sends it out. And now racing in, Mera backhander out in front of the net and it's going to be wrapped up. He couldn't get enough on that. He had, had a right idea, just couldn't get it quite enough to get it past the goaltail, a nice glove save. Saporoshitz was a millisecond away from, or excuse me, Carrazzo was a millisecond away from getting an additional shot with that puck loose in front of the net. A good cover up by Matt Dorr, the senior goaltender. Sheamus sends it around. Aiden Walsh trying to send it out. Weinstock's gonna take a shot just wide. He takes a big hit as well. Picked up by Manser. He'll Man send it out. Manser again, a good job keeping pucks in. He's done that all season long. Around the net it goes, picked up by Aguilar. He'll take contact from Aiden Walsh out in front now. And getting a backhanded shot off was Weinstock. And then on a secondary shot, Aiden Walsh. And then Carraza gets in there. And it's wrapped up by Dorr. A couple of good chances for the Hill is there, but Dorr came up big with three right in a row. Tremendous goaltending by the sophomore goalie. Big saves there. And, and there's not many times when the puck's loose in front of the net and the Hillers have three opportunities they don't score. Sean Walsh up against Marcotte. Along the corner. Hamlet trying to get in on the action. Picked up by Marcotte. Sends it along the far side. Walsh trying to turn it around. Sheamus sends it over to Manser. Answer will wrap it around the boards. Up behind the net it goes. Picked up by Carusi. And now here comes the Spartans once again off of Manser. And there's a shot that's just wide to the left by Devin Allen. Jarrett gets in there, sends it up the far side. Another shot there. And Bailey sticks the stick out, but no need. Manser sends it out over to Jarrett. 
Sharon up towards Hamblin. Walsh racing down into the corner. And he's going to get tripped up by Carusi. Trying to get it out of the traffic jam behind the net is Walsh and Amara. Along the near side, popped off the boards by Beck. Be an ice. We have an icing at 7-12 left to go in the first period. A 1-0 Bishop Stang lead. And it's not very often that we see the Hillers playing from being down one. No, Bishop Stang doing a good job on the forecheck so far, so the Hillers got to kind of beat their press. Mara sends it back. Jarrett over to Kirk. Trying to send it out. It was intercepted by LaFrance. Picked up by Mara. And now Govia getting in on the action. Jarrett sends it down. Takes a big hit into the boards. Kirk up to Mara. Here goes Mara. He has speed. There's a shot turned away. Along the near side now. Quinlan sends it out. Barnes. Rister. Glove save. And he's getting some opportunities now. A good first play there by Mira is cut right to the middle. Got the goalie slide and then took the shot. A good glove save for Dorr. Joe Carraza in on the faceoff for the Hillers as they change lines. 6.43 left to go. Sends it out. And now here comes Bishop Stang on a potential attack. Turned away by Weinstock. Carraza racing to the corner to get to the puck. It's tied up with Aguilar. Up behind the net it goes. Aiden Walsh. And it's going to be taken away by Saunders, who will send it up, but immediately diverted by Saparoshitz. Picked up by Consoletti. Consoletti racing up to the neutral zone. A long shot there, turned away by Bailey. And then a big hit delivered along the corner to Gilbert. Aiden Walsh picks it up, sends it over to Carraza. Carraza back to Aiden. Here comes the Hillers, Aiden Walsh racing up the ice. And he got tied up a little bit. Hamlet with a shot, turned away out in front. A secondary shot turned away. Walsh tried to get a shot on it, but the defender, Jack Gedry, got a stick in there. And now a power shot by Gilbert, and it's just wide. Yeah, a lot of traffic in front. This puck's bouncing off of people. A couple did make it through, but Hill is really getting some good chances now. Opportunities down low. Getting the puck up high, and the defense getting some shots on that. The Hillers providing intense pressure the last couple of minutes. Can they strike for one? We shall find out. Rogers trying to get in on the action. Along the far side, sent down by Seamus. He'll take a quick shot, turned away. Up to the blue line it goes, gets past Manser. And Seamus trying to turn away Allen. Along the corner now, picked up by Govin. Out in front, turned away by Manser. And now Walsh takes a push into the boards by Allen. Rogers and Walsh coming up the ice. Rogers trying to send it out to Hamlet. Pass a little wide and diverted. Along the corner. Back to the Hillers defensive zone it goes, and that'll draw the ice in. And the Hillers forward doing a good job on the back check. Walsh again was back for that one off the initial shot. Walsh right there down low in order to start it out the other way. This faceoff comes with 5.02 left to go in the first period. Dan Kirk up against Brandon Cardarelli. And correction, that was Matt Quinlan, number 19. Up behind the net, sent out. Mara looking for a shot. There it is, a little delay, but he gets a shot off, turned away. Kirk. Over to Quinlan. Quinlan trying to get a shot off. It was turned away. Out in front. Manser trying to get in on the action as racing up the near side is Beck. And he's quickly turned away. Kirk gets the stick on it. Over to Merrill along the far side. And now Sheamus able to wrist it forward. Here comes Bishop Stang. Tyler Beck sends it over to the corner. Mara was going to try to pick it up and take it around the net, but ended up putting it towards Bailey. So the precautionary wrap up there. And they were having some bad luck. He's got a real bouncy puck on him tonight. He's had a couple opportunities and the puck's just bounced on. A little off balance there. He had the goaltender down, looking to get a shot off, but just off balance a little bit. By the time he got it, door was back in. 
Well, it looks like a bit of a rough surface out there today. Over to Rogers. A lot of playoff hockey has happened on this ice. Hamlet racing in. And he was trying to sneak in a quick one, but it's wrapped up by Door. 4.13 left to go in the period. Walsh hit on the faceoff. Trying to dig it out is Hamlet. And it's taken away by Cartarelli. Sends it along the far side as Rogers gets in there. And now here come the Spartans. Jarrett tr steals it away from LaFrance. Jarrett will wrap it around towards Hamlet and ends up taking a hit. And a shot attempt by Carusi diverted. Here comes Walsh racing up the far side. And Walsh tripped up by Carusi. Walsh trying to get back towards the puck. Along the far side it goes. Picked up by Gilbert. He'll fling it forward off the protective glass. And now Govia working it up the ice. Nowhere to go with it. And it's taken by Rogers. The Bishop staying in the middle of a line change. The Hillers are approaching their defensive zone. Walsh shot turned away. Saporoshit. And he couldn't place the puck where he wanted it. Here comes Ben Saunders racing up the far side, looking for a shot turned away by Gray Bailey. Great save by Bailey there. Tremendous save to keep it a 1-0 game along the near side. Gilbert and Walsh. Walsh takes it away. Sends it forward. No one there. And I think the Hillers were surprised on They turned around. They had a three-on-one and didn't quite get it to the net quick enough. I don't think they realized it. Aiden Walsh. Saunders. Sends it forward. Taken by Carraza. Carraza leaves it back for Mera. And Mera's stick ended up making contact with a Ben Saunders stick. And here comes Bishop Stang once again. Jedry. Sends it back over to Aguilar. Gilbert will drop it. Mera with a big hit there. Central. On our ice. Whole lot of big hits in this game so far. It's been a physical one. Intercepted by Manser. Manser leaves it for Carraza. Shot just wide. Along the near side now. Into the corner it goes. Mera trying to get there. Tied up with Aguilar. Leaves it back towards Saunders it goes. And Quinlan turns it around. Taken by Gavin. He'll send it into Hiller's territory. Just wide of the net. And that'll draw the icing. And Manser with a good play there. Again, saw that he could jump the puck there. Nobody in front of him. Kept that puck in and then was able to take it right to the net. Get a good pass off to Carrazzo who just sent it high. We'll have a face-off at 1.44 left to go. Well, the Hiller is certainly winning the possession battle so far and putting a whole lot of pressure on the Spartans in these last few minutes. But tremendous goaltending by Matt Doris kept Bishop staying ahead. Walsh in on the faceoff, over the corner it goes, taken by Colin Walsh. He'll wrap it around towards Marshall. Up the far side towards Govin. And Manser ended up putting that one out of play. To the neutral zone we go. And 132 left to go in the period. one nothing Bishop staying lead. Taylors took down Bishop Stang in the postseason last year, went all the way to the state championship where they fell to Wachusett. And we just found out in the last few minutes Wachusett has, will actually be dethroned as the state champions since they lost to Marlboro today. So they will not be able to defend their title along the near side towards Rogers. But certainly that must have been a very good game. Two overtimes into a shootout in the game between Marlboro and Wachusett. Hamlet intercepts, leaves it for Walsh along the far side. And Walsh trying to get a quick shot, it was turned away, and then Hamlet with a secondary attempt. Along the far side it goes, Manser picks it up. Sends it over to Sheamus. Sheamus racing up, he was trying to find a Walsh, but sent it with a little too much mustard. Walsh picks it up behind the net, trying to wrap it around. And is there a goal here? The Hillers are saying they have one. 
and the official is waving it off. I don't think he was in position close enough to see it. He was over to the left. That is a tough break for the Hillers. We'll have to review the tape on that one. But of course, at this level, MIAA hockey, no reviews. It is what it is. Here comes Govia. Govia takes a big hit from Mera. As well as Saparoshitz teaming up on him. Quinlan along the near side sends it towards the neutral zone. Saparoshitz picks it up. Saparoshitz pops it off the boards. Kirk trying to grab it in the corner. Gets tied up. And now it's a traffic jam behind the Hillers net. 15 seconds left to go. Maybe Bishop Stang just trying to end the period. And it's Jack Jedry trapping it with his skate. And now Kirk is going to race up the far side. As the Hillers were able to get the puck free. Leaves it out. Quinlan trying to get a shot off. He was turned away. And that'll do it for the first period. Well, the Hillers may have had a goal, but if they did, it didn't count. And it's one to nothing. Bishop staying after the first period. But Eric, you have to be encouraged by the tremendous pressure the Hillers put on the Spartans towards the end of that first frame. Yeah, no need to panic here. They get uh, Bishop Stang got a lucky bounce off a of shin pad to get their goal, and Hillers set it down late in the period. Got plenty of chances there. Uh, had some good stops by Door there, but all they could do again just you know keep playing their style of play. They're going to get some bodies in front, and they'll have some better chances to get that in the net. And hopefully the Hillers could stay cool and collected. I just saw one of the players having some words with the official, and the official did not seem too happy. So. Certainly uh, got to keep your composure at this level, but it has been a tough physical game, and after one period of play, it's Bishop Stang leading Hopkinton. One to nothing, second period coming up next. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Hockey on HCAM. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. And Kai. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H-Camp. Hey, I like to be uh, camp. We love H-Camp. And I volunteer for H-Camp TV. I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. Welcome back to the Canton Ice House as we are ready for the second period of this South Division III sectional quarterfinals matchup between the first seeded Hopkinton Hillers and the ninth seeded Bishop Stang Spartans. A 1 0 Bishop Stang lead as we start this second period. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardi on the call, John Ritz on camera. And we are set to go. And on the faceoff, Sean Walsh, Brandon Cartarelli for Bishop Stang, and a great turnout of Hillers fans here today. And they are certainly loud and proud of what this Hillers team has done all season long. And they are here to cheer them on today. And we'll have a wrap there by Bailey as it was flung up the ice from Carusi. Face off 14 seconds into the second period in the Hillers defensive zone. And these stands here, Eric, they're absolutely packed today. Great atmosphere. Yep, good following of the Hillers Grillas. Bishop Stang trying to attack, but they are quickly turned away. Here comes Rogers up the far side. He takes a hit from Martin. Walsh digs it out of the corner, sends it back to Saparoshitz. Backhander. Rogers with a misfire there. Walsh picks it up, trying to sneak it in, and it's turned away. Perhaps looking for Hamlet, who was right in front. And now it's jammed up along the near side corner as Walsh able to dig it out, but it's taken away by Govia. Here goes Govia. There's a wrister turned away. Gilbert picks it up in front of the net. And Bailey's certainly lucky Gilbert was there. Walsh along the far side. And a Spartan lost their stick. Walsh racing in. Leaves it for Hamlet, trying to sneak it in. It's going to be wrapped, or turned away rather. Looked like he was going to put the glove on it, but couldn't quite get it down. Go loose. And now picked up in front of the net by Consoletti. Sends it back towards Manser. And now up to Hamlet. Hamlet racing up the ice. What a move there. Shot just wide. Walsh 
with the backhander and it's wrapped up and he takes a big hit into the backboards. That might be a penalty. Well, I don't see a hand up and I don't know why. That was right to the head and after the whistle. That should be a penalty and Walsh looks like he's in pain. 13.35 left to go in the second period. We certainly hope Sean Walsh is okay. I can't believe there wasn't a penalty call on that hit. That was a high hit and that was a dirty hit in my opinion. I don't know about no. the officiating uh, so far in the postseason. Especially after the last game. I mean, they come into the locker room during the playoffs to let you know they're going to call it tight. And after the last game, for what they were calling, there's just no way. Well, this game's not tight at all. Should, the, no. the officials don't even seem to be paying attention. Well, Sean Walsh was able to walk off under his own power to the bench. We certainly hope to see him back in the game. But an unfortunate situation there. Along the corner, picked up by Matt Walsh. Kirk delivers a bit of a hit. A misfire there by Jedry. Mero with a nice push on Jedry. He'll send it over to the far side. Over to Saunders, leaves it out in front, trying to find him out in front of the net. Too much mustard on that one. Mero sends it around, picked up by Quinlan. Quinlan up to Kirk. Kirk racing up the ice in front of the net, and it's going to be wrapped up. Nice move by Kirk there to get around the defenseman, get a little backhand chip. He had Mira coming down for the rebound, but Doyle was able to cover that up quickly. Another good save by the sophomore goaltender for Bishop Stang. Joe Carraza in on the faceoff against TJ Marcotte. 13 minutes left to go in the second period. Along the far side, picked up by Walsh. And now Aiden Walsh racing in there. Weinstock gonna sneak it around. Picked up in the corner by Marshall, and Jarrett sends it back. He's trying to get it up to Carraza, and now here comes Bishop Stang, racing up the ice, Marshall. He'll take a long shot, and it'll wrap around up the near side. Carraza gets the stick in there, sends it forward. Now racing up the ice is Weinstock, trying to get a bit of a break here, and he's turned away, and then Colin Walsh gets a stick on the puck and takes a big hit from Carraza. Govin with possession. Govins tripped up, and that was just uh, his own doing there. Did not take any contact as Carraza gets tangled up with Marshall along the near side corner. Aiden Walsh getting in there as well. A traffic jam around the puck. Marshall able to escape with it for now, but Hamlet had something to say about that. Back to the blue line it goes. Barnes racing up the far side. Towards the net he goes. Backhander gets turned away. TJ Marcotte able to divert the shot attempt. And there's a quick shot by Aiden Walsh, but in front of the net, ready for it was Colin Walsh. Now it's loose. Walsh, Sean Walsh trying to get the stick in there. He gets tied up. And then a secondary shot by Barnes is going to get tied up as well. Barnes st sticking with it along the far side corner, picked up by Marshall. Hamlet had the chance of the night there. Snapped off a good one, but Dorr with a great slug, uh, glove save there. When you have three Walshes on the ice, it doesn't make... <laughs> Broadcasting very easy. No, it does not. <laughs> a great shift there, too, by the third line. Third line headed in there in the whole time. Yeah, good, tremendous pressure once again. Sean Walsh up against Matt Quinlan. Along the far side corner. Sean Walsh trying to dig it out. Hamlet. Over to Sean Walsh. Shot. Turn away. And a second ever shot. Yes! Well, you knew it wasn't going to take for long. Sean Walsh. He tried tough to keep him down, made a nice move around, took the shot, and then got his own rebound. I wasn't 100% sure at first who got the secondary shot, Hamlet or Walsh, because both of them are right in on the action, but Sean Walsh coming through again, and Tommy Hamlet will certainly get an assist out of that one. A one-to-one -one game, 25th goal of the season for Sean Walsh, 29th assist for Tommy Hamlet. 47th point for Hamlet, 63rd point for Walsh. And the pressure finally pays off for the Hillers. Tremendous pressure in front of the net for several minutes in this game, but some great goaltending has denied the Hillers up to the 11-10 point left in the second period. Rogers getting Credited with the assist. 
That's where the speed of Walsh really took over. He made that first shot and the puck, nice save by Dorr, but he was able his speed to get over it quick and put it in. Sean Walsh up against Cottarelli. Popped off the boards by Carusi. And off of Hamlet it goes into the corner. And it's picked up by Carusi on the far side. Nearly stolen away by Hamlet. Cartarelli trying to work it up the ice. Hamlet pops it out to Rogers. Rogers racing down and he gets tied up in the corner with Martin. And he's playing right now from a sitting position and he's still able to get the puck towards Walsh. And now turned away by Manser right back to the Bishop Stang defensive zone. But here come the Spartans trying to form a break here. Answer races to the corner, and we'll have an icing call. And Tommy Hamill, a couple of nice plays along the boards there to break up the Spartan uh, breakout there. He kept it in twice, taking the puck right away from him. And a face-off in the near side circle. Dan Kirk up against Matt Walsh. Leaves it out. Mero trying to get a quick shot in there, turned away by Jedry. And now just past the reach of Sheamus as he'll Battle Saunders along the boards for the puck. And now it squirts out into the Spartans' defensive zone. Picked up by Aguilar. They'll leave it behind. Mara out in front looking for Quinlan. A little too much on that one. Sheamus pops it off the boards. Back to Mara it goes. Long on the air side, he pops it back to Sheamus. There's a quick shot turned away. And now it'll be picked up by Saunders. Saunders racing up the ice. He was looking for Jedry. Got by him. Sheamus picks it up in the corner. Now here's a shot and a glove save by Gray Bailey. Shot attempt by Matt Walsh. And they were keeping up the pressure that they had late in the first period there in this period, starting out really well. Door continuing to make some great saves. The Hill is going to have to get a little bit more traffic in front of somebody there for those rebounds. We are knotted up at one apiece with 9.44 left to play in the second period. Along the near side. I think a stick in there to wrap it around was Devin Allen. Up behind the net it goes. Aiden Walsh makes contact with the puck. And now Barnes trying to get in there. Jammed up along that corner. Barnes tied up with Marcotte. And now it's sent over towards Marcotte. And now Aiden Walsh will handle things. Turned around back to the Hiller zone. A misfire there. And a Nearly a potential shot opportunity in front of the net by Marcotte, but it's stolen away by Carraza. Carraza races up the near side, takes a big hit from Marshall. And now picked up by Colin Walsh. Stolen away by Aiden, leaves it out in front. Weinstock racing down, Carraza racing down, and it's turned away. Great forecheck by Aiden Walsh here. It'll steal that puck. Jarrett. This line uh, with Carraza and Aiden Walsh, they've provided some very good pressure today. Yeah, they've been great. And Jeff Barnes, good defensive work. Hamlet was trying to work it in front of the net, but it's taken away by Seamus Marshall. Over to Saunders. Spartans trying to get back into the Hillers' defensive zone. They have not done that a whole lot in this second period. Hamlet leaves it for Rogers. Rogers with a nice move. And he was trying to sneak one in there. Walsh trying to dig it out of the corner now. Gets tied up with Carusi. Along the Near side goes Govia as Saporoshitz makes contact. Now Gilbert gets in there. Govia still with possession, going to take it around the net, but he's turned away by Saporoshitz. Back to the blue line it goes, and a misfire there by Carusi. And here comes the Hillers on a potential break. Rogers up the far side. He lost the puck, and he takes a hit. Jammed up along the corner now. Sean Walsh comes away with it, gets a shot off, turned away, and he's looking for a secondary shot. Takes a big push from Carusi, and that should be a behind the back hit, I believe. Along the near side, and here comes Govia. Shot there, goal. Unbelievable turn of events. Justin Govia with a break up the near side and slaps it right in with 7.45 left to go in the second period. Now Walsh in front had three people on him, and he was able to get around two of them. The last one, he said, got him right in the back, sent him flying. They were able to get a break coming the other way. A nice shot there for Bishop Stang. It was almost a tackle. <laughs> well, things work out for the Spartans. A beauty of a shot by Justin Govia, the junior, and they're back on top 2-1. The Hillers have been providing pressure all game long, but it's been Matt Dorr saving the day for Bishop Stang with some tremendous goaltending and a couple uh, situations where it was luck of the bounce, but a long way to go. Here comes the Spartans. Ben Saunders racing up the ice, gets tied up with Sheamus. And 
will get a whistle. Face off in the neutral zone. Well, what did we have in the uh, first playoff game? About 17 penalties, and this <laughs> one not one yet. Taking a big hit behind the net. Barnes along the corner now. Barnes trying to get in there, tied up with Saunders. And now Kirk trying to escape with it. Here comes Quinlan, and Quinlan is diverted, but Mara races up. Here goes Mara looking for a break. Mara around the defender, shot a little high. Off the glass it goes as it's sent back down by Barnes. Mara looking for another one in the high slot, takes the shot, leaves it out, and a misfire by Kirk. He had a great opportunity there, wide open net in front of him. Great work by Mara getting that puck right out front. Jameis Marshall pops it off the glass, past the reach of Jarrett. It'll be chased down back ice by Carraza. Carraza takes a hack at it, sends it forward to Kirk. Kirk looking for a break here. He's turned away by Marshall, but delivers a big hit. Over to Quinlan, now Kirk on a break, here he goes. And Marshall with a push there, Kirk racing up. And another big hit, shot Mara, and it is going to be wrapped up by Dorr. He was looking for the five hole there. Great shift there by the hill, a couple big hits by Kirk. Kevin Mara does a great job getting that puck to the front of the net. He comes down the side and is able to make that move right in front every time. Another big save by Doyle, though. 6.26 left to go in the second period. A 2-1 Bishop staying lead. And the Hillers, they're playing angry. Some big hits delivered in that last series. Carraza picked up by Martin. Martin racing up the far side, sends it flying. Saporoshitz going to track it down, but it will be no need. Icing is the call. at 6.17 left to go. Well, right now, Tom, the door is definitely the story of this game. The Hillers have had some unbelievable opportunities there, and he's come up big. I've just got to get a couple more bodies, like I said, in front, because he is giving up the rebounds. Joe Carraza up against T.J. Marcotte. Sent out, Aiden Walsh delivers a hit, picked up by Carusi. Carusi racing up the near side, contested by Carraza and Weinstock. And now it's gonna be taken by Gilbert. Up the near side it goes. Picked up by Carusi, Aiden Walsh trying to get in there. Martin now, pops it off the boards, right to Gilbert it goes. He'll pop it back into Spartans territory. Along the back of the net, up the near side, and Gilbert gets the stick on it. Sent forward by Hamblet, Saparoshitz picks it up. There's a shot, wraps it around. Hamblet along the near side corner. Hamlet sends it back to Sean Walsh. Walsh trying to sneak around out in front. Rogers with a shot, and it is going to be wrapped up by Doerr. Good work there by the top line. Putting that puck down low behind the net, trying to get it out front. And, uh, Bishop Stang doing a good job in front of the net, tying Hill is up. Yeah, they certainly are, but can't say enough about the goaltending by the sophomore, Matt Doerr, in this game. He's been outstanding. Sean Walsh up against Brandon Cartarelli. Along the corner. Picked up by Colin Walsh, pops it off the boards. To the neutral zone it goes, Sheamus gets in there, but racing up the ice, Govia. And he'll take a big hit, looks like we're gonna have our first penalty of the game. Gonna go for a trip. Trying to poke check the puck away from him, and just got the skate. That's be a big kill for the Hillers here. You don't wanna go down 3-1 with five minutes left in the second. Well, the officials were paying attention there, and they'll get Ronnie Sheamus for the trip. But as we've seen in the past, and the Hillers often have a lot more open ice for themselves when they have the shorthand. So we got Walsh out there. Sean Walsh up against Jack Jedry. Over to the corner goes Saparoshitz, pops it off the boards. Walsh trying to escape with it. It's taken by LaFrance. Over to the corner it goes. Gilbert trying to dig it out of the danger zone. He'll send it up the near side. Picked up by Saunders, popped off the boards. And now racing up the far side, Govia. He'll take a big hit from Gilbert. Out in front of the net, goal! The last thing you wanted if you were the Hailer is a wide open shot in front of the net for William LaFrance, and it's a three to one game. Yeah, after the big hit, he was still able to get the puck down low to his, his teammate there, and it, he had a little two on one open in front. Nothing Bailey could do on that one. 
That goal comes with four minutes, 50 seconds left in the second period. And we will now be at even strength, of course, with the goal. But you cannot afford penalties in this game, Eric. No, not when it's as tight as it is and you've got a real hot goaltender. Kirk up against Matt Walsh. Jarrett up to Quinlan. Quinlan trying to wrap it around. Door gets the stick on him. Eric trying to sneak it out. Quinlan gets in there and Colin Walsh is going to take it away. Walsh turns it around. Here comes Matt Walsh, sends it over to Jedry. Jedry sends it out to Matt Walsh. Walsh takes a hit from Barnes, picked up behind the net by Jarrett. Up to Quinlan it goes, just past his reach. Colin Walsh gets the stick on it and sends it out in front. Wrapped around now by Carraza. Now a break here by Dan Kirk. Kirk racing up the ice, shot, turn away, second every shot by Quinlan. Turn away, tremendous goaltending by Dorr. Jarrett with a shot there, it's turned away off the stick of Matt Walsh. Along the far side, picked up by Mara. Mara sends it over to Kirk and it bounces off his stick. Over to the corner it goes. Mara trying to dig it out, leaves it out in front. Over to Jarrett. Jarrett with a wrister and it went off of Tyler Beck. Sent up the far side by Colin Walsh and we'll have a face off off the icing call. And again, the Hillers just do not have that puck luck at all tonight. It is just bouncing. As we've seen, there's a lot of ruts from all the playoff hockey here. And had several opportunities for some good chances, but the puck's just bouncing. Sean Walsh will be in on the face-off. Up against T.J. Marcotte with 3.41 left to go. Yeah, just rough breaks for the Hillers in this game so far. Tremendous pressure, but great goaltending and some rough bounces. Sent over to the near side corner, picked up by Carusi. Rogers steals it away and leaves it for Hamlet. Hamlet will turn it around towards Sean Walsh out in front. He was trying to sneak it in, and it's wrapped up by Door. Well, I think we're going to get a penalty here. I think we're going to go for a hold on Bishop Stang. Oh. And his arms around Kyle Rogers. I think Walsh was actually trying to get that back in or out to Rogers. But well. Might be a little bit of a makeup because the threshold was not set early, but now we're going for the uh, what would be normally an obvious penalty. We're going to get Andrew Carusi. And with 3.22 left to go in the second period, the Hillers have the man advantage. If there was ever a time to score, Mara sends it back to Sean Walsh. Walsh with a shot. And it went off the stick of Hamlet, then he couldn't find it. Gilbert delivers a push to Matt Walsh. Sean Walsh picks it up, back ice, sends it up to Mara. Mara racing up the far side. Sends it out to Sean Walsh, back to Mara now. Mara over to Gilbert. Gilbert with a shot, and it's out in front of the net. Rogers gets a stick on it, and it's turned away by Dorr. Rogers sends it up to Gilbert. Gilbert's pass attempt turned away by Devin Allen. Back to the neutral zone it goes, and he'll wrap it around. Dorr getting the stick on it. 116 left to go on the Hillers' power play. Gilbert trying to dig it out. Over to the corner it goes, Rogers jammed up along the boards by Seamus Marshall. Now Hill has got to get two guys on the puck on the power play. Sent up the ice by Consoletti. Sean Walsh with possession, leaves it for Mara. Mara racing up the far side, here he comes. With authority, leaves it out in front, shot, turn away, what a save! Off the stick of Rogers, and a tremendous save once again by Dorr. Leaves it for Mara. And Mara out in front, Hamlet jams it in, beauty! Great play by Mara there in the corner. He waited, got around the defenseman, sent the puck right out front, and Hamlet again had a little bit of a puck jump on him, but he was able to get the second rebound, put it home. That's huge here. It's a three to two Bishop Stang lead with 1.54 left to play in the second period. Well, it was just a great little touch pass by Mara right to Hamblet. And he just stuffs it in for his 19th goal of the season. David Mara with his 21st assist. And 
think the official uh, informing the scoreboard operator to correct the score, and there we go. Weinstock sends it back to Sheamus. They'll wrap it around. Quinlan picks it up in the corner. Weinstock coming around with it. But you know what the Hiller strategy is going to be, try to get that puck right in front of the net. And there's a shot by Kirk, and it was a little wide there off the rebound from the Sheamus shot along the far side, and it's going to be a backhander by Marshall to get it up the ice. And knocked back up and around. It goes by Manser along the near side corner now. Weinstock sends it back to Sheamus. There's a quick shot just wide. Good power on it, but a little wide there. Manser trying to dig it out of the far side boards. And a little stick battle with Consoletti. And Hamlet is going to wrist it up. And he was looking in front of the net towards Rogers. Some big hits delivered in front of the net to defend for Bishop Sang. Rogers digs it out of the corner, sneaks it behind the net. Hamlet trying to get there. Sent around to the near side. Sheamus picks it up, gets a quick shot off, and it's loose out in front of the net. Rogers trying to get the secondary shot. It's turned away. Well, the rebounds are there for the Hillers. Up the ice goes Saunders, and knocking it up the near side off the official is Matt Walsh. And now racing up Saunders. Shot, turn away. Along the near side, taken by Carusi. Hamlet with the steal, leaves it out for Rogers. And Rogers looking for a shot there, and it was defended, but he's able to get it off the rebound, and it was just wide. Gilbert gets tied up along the far side with LaFrance. Rogers trying to get in there, turned away by Martin. And we'll have an icing with 7.7 .7 seconds left to go in the second period. And a great action here. Yeah, the Hill is definitely getting their chances. And again, the puck just a couple few extra bounces there. The door is making some great saves, but he is giving up those rebounds in front. Just have to have one more forward down there low. Well, both teams have taken advantage of a power play opportunity today. And we have ourselves a 3-2 to two game. Saparoshitz with a shot, and it's wrapped up by Doerr. Some power on that shot. And able to see that one all the way. Hill is going to try to get a little bit more traffic in front. Sean Walsh in on the faceoff against Brandon Cardarelli. 4.9 seconds left to go in the second period. Misfire by Mera. And a backhanded pass to the neutral zone by Govia, and that's how the second period will end. Well, it wasn't pretty, but the Hillers did respond on a power play opportunity with a goal of their own to get the lead back to one for Bishop Stang. And as we head into the third period, it's Bishop Stang leading Hopkinton 3-2. to two. And Eric, I think it's going to be crucial in this third period to keep your cool because you do not want to give your team a penalty. No, I mean, you're down one goal, and you've had, you know, been dominating most of the night. you got a hot goalie, but you've been able to get by him twice, so just play your game. Like you said, you got to keep your cool. You can't give up another penalty here, and I think the Hillers will be able to come out flying in that third. Well, the third period is coming up next. At the break, Bishop Stang leading Hopkinton 3-2. to two. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Hockey on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back into the Canton Ice House as we are ready for the third period. Between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Bishop Stang Spartans, a 3-2 Bishop Stang lead as we enter the final 15 minutes of regulation. Let's recap how the scoring has gone in this game. You had Colin Walsh score the first goal in the first period with 12.57 left for Bishop Stang. And then later on, Sean Walsh responded with a goal of his own. Kyle Rogers and Hamlet assisted. And that goal came with 11-10 left in the second period. And then Bishop Stang took advantage, or actually before the power play goal, they 
scored a goal of their own at 7.45 left from Justin Govia, and then at 4.50 left was a power play goal for Bishop Stang, but then the Hillers responded with a power play goal of their own from Tommy Hamblin, assisted by Pavit Mera with 1.54 left to go in the second period, and that is how we have our three to two score as we enter the final frame of action. Sean Walsh up against Cartarelli. We are underway in this third period. Can the Hillers break through? And we're gonna have a wrap here by Bailey as that puck was getting close to the line. That took a weird bounce off the boards. I don't think Bailey thought it was gonna come out that way. Yeah, it was a little nerve wracking. Sean Walsh on the face off. Here goes Rogers trying to break free. Turned away by Martin. There's a quick shot and it's punched away by Bailey along the far side, picked up by Hamblin. He'll slice it forward. Rogers trying to leave it out, no one there. And here comes Bishop Stang, there's a quick shot. Glove save, Bailey off the stick of LaFrance. A good play by Rogers to break up the first play there, left the stick up and looked to me like it made it out, but Bishop Stang was able to get a, another uh, chance to get that puck back in the zone. Early pressure from the Spartans. Sean Walsh up against Matt Walsh. No relation, Saparoshitz pops it off the boards. Along the near side it goes, big hit was delivered in the process. Sean Walsh racing up the ice, he's tripped up. Gilbert gonna take it forward. Along the near side it goes, that looked like a trip to me, Eric. Sean Walsh with a quick shot out in front of the net and can Dorr cover it up? No, but it is turned away. And here comes the Spartans once again, looking for a shot here, turned away by Saparoshitz as he got in front of the shot of Jedry. And now sending it out was Matt Walsh, but he put it right off of Sean Walsh, jammed up along the far side, up behind the net it goes, picked up by Gilbert. He'll slice it forward up the near side, and we'll have an icing. Thirteen forty-eight left to go in the third period. And we'll have a face-off in the Hillers defensive zone. Dan Kirk up against T.J. Marcotte. Quinlan delivering a hit. Kirk sends it up the far side. Mance, a good job tying up his man. James Marshall able to turn it away for the moment. And now Bishop Stang trying to attack once again. There's a shot turned away by Bailey off the stick of Marcotte along the near side. Marcotte trying to get in there. Sheamus will send it around up to Mara. Just past the reach of Mara, sent back by Marshall. Picked up in the corner by Sheamus. He'll send it out over to Manser. And now back up the near side it goes. Over to the corner by Consoletti. So far Bishop Stang leading in the possession battle in this third period. But here comes Quinlan. He sends it out. And trying to get there closer to the net. Along the near side here comes Barros. And he'll send it over to the far side. Potential break here and it's diverted by Sheamus. A good defensive play there by Sheamus on Govia. Now out in front and a quick shot there. It's turned, it was a little high. Puck still loose. Over to the near side it goes. Sent down by Martin along the corner. Trying to get it out of the jam. Cartarelli gets tied up with Mera. And Carraza getting in there as well. Carraza trying to steal it away. And now Sheamus pinning the Spartan against the boards. And that's Cartarelli for the Spartans. Sheamus and Cartarelli continuing to battle it out. Carraza sneaks it out. And it, and it looks like the Spartans' goal really waste time in this game. And obviously wasting time on the clock will give the Hillers less of an opportunity to have a scoring situation. But they have been trapping the puck quite a lot along the boards. Yeah, Bishop Stang really came out with a lot of intensity here in this first couple of shifts. They certainly did. Some big hits being delivered on both sides, but the Spartans have had a couple of huge hits in the last few minutes. Here comes Weinstock as he's diverted. Over the corner it goes. Trying to get it out of the traffic jam, Matt Walsh. Aiden Walsh sends it towards the net. It's wrapped up by Dorr. The Hill is, I think, a little bit too much panic in their own end there. They had some opportunities to move the puck and make a breakout, but they're trying to throw the puck up the boards with nobody up there, and Bishop Stang will keep it in. This face-off comes with 11.42 left to go in the period. 
Sent around to the near side. A big hit delivered along the boards by Hamlet. And now up behind the net it goes. Hamlet trying to track it down. Over to the blue line, and it's going to be handled by Barnes. Out in front, around the net. Sent up the near side. Jarrett turns it around. Sean Walsh comes across trying to grab it in the corner, and it's sent down. Jarrett will pick it up in the defensive zone. Up the near side. Over to Rogers. He'll send it forward. Sean Walsh trying to get there, but Ryan Martin there first. Over to the far side, and a huge hit delivered by Hamlet in the corner. Along the boards it goes, handled by Manser. Jarrett, backhander off the boards. Sean Walsh will put it up and around. Hamlet trying to track it down along the far side. Handled by Simmons, and now a battle for it. Out in front, Sean Walsh with a quick shot turned away. And here comes the Spartans. And it was poked out by Saporosha. It's on a nice, subtle defensive play. Now Sean Walsh racing up the ice, and his shot is going to be diverted by Carusi. Hill is going to go on the power play. Interference. He took out Sean Walsh after the puck was gone. So his big chance here for the Hill is to get right back in it. Well, yeah, this is it. This is the opportunity you've been waiting for. A chance to tie with a power play situation. And Martin's sent to the box. Interference against the Spartans. And a, a two minute man advantage for the Hillers with 10.25 left to go in the third period. Up and around it goes, handled by Manser. And it looks like we have offsides. Almost another great job there by Manser keeping that in. Puck, if it came out, didn't come out by much. Hiller is going to switch things up on the ice. They're bringing the first line back out for this power play opportunity. Havik Mira in on the faceoff. Over to Rogers. He'll send it around. Handled by Dorr along the backboards. Mara delivering a hit along the near side. Walsh with the pass over towards Gilbert. Gilbert will take it up and around. Gilbert racing up the near side. Here he comes, racing in. Up and around the net. And he was looking for Rogers, but it was turned away. Not quite sure what the strategy was behind that to take it all the way back into the defensive zone. Sean Walsh sends it a little wide. Hamlet buried in the corner by Marshall. And there was just not enough urgency to get two guys on that puck to keep that puck in when they had it down in the Bishop staying end. Less than a minute left on the power play. It just seems to me that they're uncharacteristically wasting a lot of time on this power play opportunity. Yeah, got to be a little more, more deliberate. Gilbert sends it around to the far side. Mara will handle it, and he gets jammed up, but able to send it out. It is taken by the Spartans. Sean Walsh there to turn it back. Gilbert puts it up the ice. Rogers comes away with it. Here he goes on a break. Shot. Turn away. I don't know that he didn't see. He had Tommy Hamlet all alone in front. I don't know if he didn't see him or if he didn't think he could get it over. 25 seconds left on the power play opportunity. 8.47 left in regulation. Bishop staying up by one. Walsh to Gilbert. Leaves it out for Mara. Mara up towards Hamlet. Around it goes, and we'll have an icing. And only eight seconds left here, so Hill has kind of squandered one there. Just uh, he said they need to be a little bit more deliberate, get that puck in deep and work it around. But they didn't have two guys going to the puck, and Bishop Stang was able to get it out. Dan Kirk up against Cartarelli. Kirk leaves it back for Sheamus. Pass to reach a Quinlan. Popped off the glass by Consoletti. Into the Hiller zone it goes. Sheamus gets there, slices it forward, and we're going to have a whistle here. It's just offside. Offside. Back to full strength. Offsides indeed. Power play has expired, 8.17 left to go in the third period. 
And the Hiller's tremendous season is on the line here. Sheamus was trying to pop it forward, but ended up putting it right off of Govia. Up towards Quin Quinlan, who pops it off the boards. Kirk racing up the ice. He's trying to break away, but was turned away. Kirk takes it back, sends it up the near side. And here comes Kirk now. He'll wrap it around. Door handles it. He'll set it up for Carusi. Carusi takes a big shot by Kirk up behind the net. And now Bishop Stang looking for a break here. Manser is there to answer. He'll send it around. Picked up once again by Carusi. Sean Walsh was trying to steal it away. Now Jarrett gets in on the action along the boards. Barnes will pick it up. He wraps it around towards Hamlet. Hamlet looking for Rogers. Walsh in the area as well. Walsh working up the ice, trying to steal it away. And he puts it towards the corner. Picked up by Matt Walsh. Trapped behind the net, now unleashed up the near side by Walsh, Matt Walsh. Sent forward by Devin Allen. Barnes gets the stick on it, looking for Hamlet. Out in front, Jarrett turns it away, looking for Rogers. Mill is just having trouble connecting on all their passes on the breakouts. Either a little bit too far in front, or again, Puck's jumping. It certainly is. And I'm sure the rough surface has something to do with that. Gilbert with a shot, and it is wrapped up by Door. And you've got to give Bishop Stink some credit. They came out in this period, and they're the ones who picked up the intensity to start this period so far. So at the Hillis, they've got the guns to do it. They've got to just pick it up a bit more on net. Six minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the third period. Bishop Stang leading Hopkinton 3-2. to two. Sent over to Gilbert. Along the near side. Gilbert with a quick shot and then off the stick of Quinlan. Turn away. Picked up in the corner by Walsh. Walsh and Quinlan do a battle. Then a quick shot there by Kirk as it was sent out. And that one turned away. Another tremendous save by Doerr. Along the far side, sends it back towards Gilbert. Jammed up along the near side boards. Gilbert was trying to put it towards Quinlan. Here comes Ryan Martin up the ice. He's diverted into the boards by Saparoshitz, and then Gilbert delivers a big hit. Kirk up to Quinlan. Quinlan across to Gilbert. Gilbert pops it off the boards towards Mero, takes a hit. A smart play by Quinlan. He looked up and saw that if he tried to go for the long pass, might get picked off. Consoletti sends it over to LaFrance along the near side. Answer sends it forward. Around it goes. Sean Walsh trying to get there. Walsh trying to get out of the traffic jam and did, but was diverted by Cartarelli. Now Bishop Stang looking for a break up the far side. Here comes Govia, and he ends up being tripped up after a couple of bumps from Hillers. Hamlet with possession. He'll fling it forward into the neutral zone. Rogers couldn't get a handle on it. Along the near side it goes. Bishop Stang doing a good job clogging up the passing lanes in the neutral zone. Five minutes and counting, a left to play in this third period. Hillers down by one. Can they respond? Sean Walsh, pass to reach to Rogers. And Walsh gonna come away with a steal here, looking for the breakaway. And he's gonna get tied up with a couple of Spartans. Rogers gets in there. He was diverted towards the corner. Rogers trying to sneak it out. And Bishop Stang with another great defensive series there. Along the far side it goes. Manser picks it up. Answer sends it behind the net to Sheamus. Smart play there. Kirk. Back to Manser. And Manser trying to put it towards Bishop Stank territory. It's immediately turned away. Jarrett will pick it up. Jarrett up to Quinlan. Quinlan across to Kirk. Here comes Kirk racing up the far side. Towards the backboards he goes. And he gets jammed up along the corner. Over to Jarrett. Now Barnes takes a shot and it's turned away. Puck still loose. And it's wrapped up by Doerr on the secondary attempt. And good play by Quentin Barnes there. He was able to slide over to his right, get that shot on net. And 
Wasn't able to get a lot on it, but he got enough to get it in front there. Look, looking for a tip. And I believe Kirk got a little tip on it, but just not enough. 351 left to go. Face off in Bishop Stang defensive territory. Matt Dorr, the sophomore goaltender, shining for Bishop Stang in this one. Barnes sends it wide. Collected by Barnes. Barnes up to Hamblett. Hamblett coming up the far side. Barnes is going to get in on it too. Hamblett towards the net and it's turned away. Jarrett wraps it around. Over to Barnes along the far side. Trying to unclog the traffic jam and Sean Walsh will come away with it. Over to Jarrett. Jarrett with a quick shot turned away. Rogers looking for a secondary shot, but the puck immediately diverted with a nice defensive move by Consoletti. And now out in front. And the Bishop Stang defense holding strong for the moment. Saparosha sends it up. Over to the corner it goes. A delayed offside. Hillers had to pull out. Sent back to the Hillers defensive zone. Picked up by Saparoshitz. Up the boards he goes to Rogers. And there's the whistle for the, the delayed offsides call. 2.41 left to go in the third period. And it'll be 2.41 left to go in this season if the Hillers can't get a goal. Yeah, with the way Bishop Stang's clogging up the neutral zone, they might, Hillis might have to hang a winger high by the offensive blue line in order to spring him. There's a quick shot there. Saparoshitz will send it around. And it's punched up in the air off of Mera and out of play. That one off the ceiling here in the uh, ice house barn. <laughs> I think it ended up landing on <laughs> Devin Allen. The official was checking on him. Like a Ray Guy punt. <laughs> there are field goals in hockey? Dan Kirk on the faceoff up against Marcotte. There's a quick shot, a little high there by Jedry. Saparoshitz able to poke it out towards Quinlan. Now jammed up along the boards once again. Pass by Kirk over to Mera. Mera with speed coming up the far side. And just too many Spartans in his way. Up behind the net it goes. Handled by Marcotte. Quinlan trying to steal it away. Jammed up now along the corner. Kirk trying to get in there. Quinlan had a handle on it. Sends it out to Mera. Still trapped up behind the net. And now over to Saparoshitz. With the power, turned away. Saparoshitz handles it once again along the near side. Wraps it around. Poke towards Gilbert. Off the stick of Jedry, and there's a shot, and it's a glove save by Matt Dorr. Good keep in there by Gilbert. I wouldn't be surprised here. You might see the Hillers call a timeout here, Tom, and then think about pulling the goalie now while it's down in Bishop Stang's end. Probably let them set up and then maybe call timeout as soon as they set up. A little extra time to rest. 146 left to go in the third period. And we're going to play. Walsh. Sends it over to the near side. Manser up towards Hamlet. He's jammed in the corner. Walsh comes away with it. Back to Manser. There's a shot just wide. Behind the net now. Over towards Sheamus. Sheamus racing up, trying to leave it out. And it's turned away. Walsh, quick shot there off the Spartan Sheamus Marshall. Along the far side it goes. Sheamus able to poke it out towards the Near side corner, Hamblet. There you go, pulling the goalie now, Tom. Hillers have pulled the goalie, bad timing. and Bishop staying on a break, and it was very bad timing, because that is going to be the backbreaker for the Hillers, an open net goal by Govia. Four to two, Stang. A bad bounce with the puck coming around, and Bishop Stang was able to jump on it. Get it over the blue line right as Bailey was starting to come out. He was already committed. Well, certainly an unfortunate situation there. The Hiller has been 
they have won, they have won the possession battle, but of course the only thing that matters is the goal battle. And due to tremendous goaltending by Matt Dorr, Bishop Stang very well may advance the next round unless the Hillers can find a way to score two goals in a minute and five seconds. The Hillers have done that before. Yeah, tall task, but certainly not on duel. But you get, again, you got to give Bishop Stang credit. They just came out in this third period, uh, and they really picked up their game, really pressuring the Hillers, not allowing them to get any good breakouts and not many second chances at all. Yeah, it just almost seemed that there wasn't enough urgency for the Hillers to begin this period. We'll have a face-off at mid-ice, off the timeout. After a empty net goal by Bishop Stang, the Hillers were just in the process of pulling the goaltender, just bad timing there. Saparoshitz sends it around. Less than a minute left to go. Picked up by Gilbert. Sends it up and around, Walsh delivering a big hit. 45 seconds left to go. Jammed up in the corner. Along the boards, back into Hiller's territory. Hiller is once again with an empty net. And we'll have an icing here. 34 seconds left in this third period. Hillers trailing four to two. Well, the Hillers have been great in the offensive face zones all year long. If they ever needed one now, they gotta pull one off here quick. Sean Walsh in on the face off. And he gets kicked out. Hamlet will now take it. Along the corner, Martin. He's jammed up, trying to dig it out his Hamlet. And he unleashes it towards the slot, but no one there for the Hillers. And another empty net goal for Bishop Stang, and that's going to be the finisher. The ninth seeded Bishop Stang Spartans are going to upset the first seeded Hopkinton Hillers. And I don't think there's any doubt your MVP of this game is their goaltender, Matt Dorr. Yeah, he came up big early on, and Hillers had several chances to Barry Pucks and he made some great saves and that's definitely was the story early on. But what a great season for the Hillers. You know, 20 wins and one loss in the regular season and just didn't have enough today to, to overcome Bishop Stang's play. The Hillers will end their season with 20 wins and two losses overall. A tremendous run by Hopkinton, but they just got out goaltended today, if you will. Certainly a rough situation, but as we said coming into this tournament, Eric, anything can happen in this bracket. Yep. Throw out where the standings are coming in. It's, uh, it's all about what you play on that day. Well, I know it's a tough one for the Hillers, but they certainly should not hang their heads. They had a tremendous season. They did, and congratulations to these seniors. What a group of seniors they had. Uh, you know, some of the best scoring this school scene in a long time. Well, Eric, it's been a lot of fun calling these games all season long. Another season in the books for the Hopkinton Hillers. And certainly a big congratulations to the senior class on this Hopkinton team. They just all played tremendous and were so much fun to watch all season long. But the Hillers going to fall to Bishop Stang in the quarterfinals round of the South Division Three sectionals by a final score of five to two. Any closing thoughts, Eric? I know, just again, I mean, it's uh, you know tough to end the season this way. I think they you know thought they were gonna go a lot further with the talent they had, but they had a, a great run. Um, like I said, good coaching job here all year long. They played together well as a team, and just, just a great season. Nothing to hang your head about. You know, they played a tough Bishop Stang team, so congratulations to the, the Hillers on how far they did make it. Well. We want to thank everybody that watched all season long. It was an absolute amazing time calling these games. And we certainly had a lot of support from the Hopkinton community and viewers that were invested in this team. So we certainly thank everybody out there for watching all season long. But for one last time, we give you the final score for the final time of the 2019-2020. 
MIAA Hopkinson Hillers High School Hockey season. Bishop Stang taking down the Hillers in the quarterfinals. 5-2, to two. the Hillers end their season with 20 wins and two losses. Bishop Stang out 12-5 and 5, and they'll move on to the next round. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner Eric Carty. I'm Tom Nappy. And as always, we thank you for watching HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.